So verb finite and non-finite problems are a different question format presentation. And it's important to recognize that. So once you know you're dealing with grammar conventions of standard English, and once you do your vertical scan to realize, okay, this is not some kind of punctuation, independent clause, dependent clause issue, it's verbs. You then have to assess, is it a tense agreement issue or is it finite versus non-finite? So recall, finite is a conjugated form of the verb. It's any of our conjugated forms. Simple, continuous, perfect tenses, past, present, future. They can form the main verb of a sentence versus non-finite, which never can. And they don't get changed either. To digest is what we call the infinitive. Okay, and it will usually follow another verb. He likes to digest the food. Okay, the other option is the present participle, which is a verb ending in ing. And again, this would set up a dependent participle clause. It is not conjugable. It will never be a main clause verb. It always sets up a dependent clause that cannot stand by its own. So. She likes to eat, digesting her food slowly, okay? So let's take a look here. If I do my vertical scan in this case, I see there are actually two non-finite options, to digest and digesting. These are the infinitive and the present participle respectively. Digest and will digest, these are finite. So right away, I'm looking for finite versus non-finite. And if I see a lot of non-finite options, two or more, I'm probably going to approach this as a finite, non-finite option, not necessarily in verb, tense, or number. As you can see, there's no agreement issue here. Only if the non-finites don't work that I might have to go back to a number or tense type issue. So I'm going to start with the non-finites because they seem to stand out. Instead of resting when... It gets dark, they rest, so this is your main verb. When they need to digest their food. The correct answer here is going to be the non-finite, in this case, the infinitive. Let's see another example. Grammar, verbs, as I look for finite versus non-finite or tense agreement, I have infinitive, that's non-finite, Having entered and entering, these are both non-finite. These will never be the main sentence conjugations. Enter is, that's finite. So the thing I'm going to check first is the one that stands out, the finite option. Let's take a look. To survive when water is scarce, embryos inside African turquoise killfish eggs enter a dormant state. Yes, that's exactly right. It would not be killfish eggs to enter having entered this needs to be the main verb and that has to be a finite option so immediately we come in just like our number and a few other samples where we saw that standout option it's usually the one that's correct so get pretty good at identifying finite and non-finite prompts and the different options among the answer choices it can help you answer the questions much more quickly